The question number 31 says, the velocity of particle varies with time as per the figure shown. The distance traveled by the particle in 10 seconds is. These are four options. The graph is between velocity and uh, the time, whereas required is the distance. And dear student, look here, from C point to E, the particle velocity is a negative. And to find the distance, we have to find the speed, which will be the graph like this one. So, this area plus this area will give you the total distance covered by the particle in the total time of 10 seconds. So, this area, you have to take the area of trapezium and then this area. So, total distance covered is equal to the area of the trapezium I take. So, this base I take is equal to 7 seconds. And this is 1 divided by 2, multiply with the height, the height is 6. So, this area I have calculated. Then, if I take the area of the triangle, so 1 by 2 into the 1 second, and this height is 2, plus the last area of the rectangle, this area will be equal to 8 to 10 is 2, multiply by 2. So, this is 8 by 2, 4 into 6 plus 1, plus 4. So, answer is 29 meter. And look at the option. The option 3 is 29 meter. So, answer to this question is 3. Let's move to the next problem. Which of the following graphs are physically not possible? Symbols have their usual meanings. This one, the first graph is between velocity and time. Second is between velocity and time. Third is between the position and the time or all of above. Which graph is not possible? Now, dear student, if look at the first graph, from here to here, as the time is progressing, the particle velocity is decreasing. No problem. But from here to here, the graph is straight up. That means at this time, the particle has this velocity and this velocity and this velocity. That means at the same time, particle have different velocity, which is not true. So, this graph is not possible. At the same time, particle cannot have different values of velocities. And likewise, in second graph, look at T naught here and here. Particle has two values of velocity V1 and V2, which is also not true. So, this graph is not possible. And what do you find in the third graph? No problem in this case till this point. But you has move from here to here. Corresponding to this time, the particle has at the same time different positions. That's also not possible. Therefore, all these graphs are not possible. Therefore, the correct answer is option number 4. Now, question number 43 says that if V is the velocity of a particle moving in a straight line and A is the acceleration of the particle, then the speed of the particle would be decreasing if the first option relation between acceleration and velocity less than 0, acceleration and velocity greater than 0, acceleration and velocity equal to 0, none of these. Now, dear student, velocity of the particle moving on the straight line. Now, if the particle is, let's say, moving in this direction and particle has acceleration in this direction, then no doubt, acceleration and velocity product will be positive. And if the particle is moving in this direction, and acceleration in this direction, then the speed will decrease. The speed decreases when acceleration and velocity are in the opposite direction and A, V becomes equal to negative. And that's true. So, the correct option to this question is option number 1. Question number 44. The graph between maximum height attained and the time of flight for the particle thrown vertically upward with a variable speed will be a straight line, parabola, ellipse or hyperbola. You have to draw the graph between the maximum height and the time of flight. For any particle thrown with speed u, the maximum height is equal to u square by 2g and the time of flight is equal to 2u by g. Now, he is keeping different u and want to find the relation between h and t. 
From here, I calculate the value of u. u is equal to gt divided by 2 and I'll fill in equation number 1. So there h maximum become equal to 1 by 2 into 1 by g into gt by 2 power 2. So this become 1g cancel out. So 1 by 2 and 1 by 4, 1 by 8 into g into t square. This whole thing is constant. So hm is proportional to t square. So this is similar to y is equal to constant into x square. Therefore, the graph between h and t will be a parabola. If the graph is parabola, let us look at the options. The first option is straight line and the second option is parabola. So, the correct answer to this question is option number 2. Let us go to the next problem. The question number 45 says, the result of 2.01 multiplied by 4.06 centimeter square plus 1.6 centimeter square up to correct significant figures is so correct significant figures first option is 9.8 centimeter square second is 9.76 centimeter square third is 9.7606 centimeter square and last option is 10.0 centimeter square now let's multiply by 2.01 and 4.06 so, this would be equal to 8.16. Other you have to drop because you have to take and multiply only three significant figures. And to this you have to add 1.6. And what is the rule in addition? Number of digits after decimal is 1. So, you have to keep 1. This become 9.76 centimeter square. Now, you have to keep only one digit in addition rule. So, 7 will change to 8 because this is more than 5. Therefore, the addition become equal to 9.8 centimeter square. So, answer is 9.8 centimeter square and answer is first option. Now, dear student, thank you very much for staying here and we will continue with the next AITS. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.